to that and boy do I have a bonus Sunday haul for you. I'm going to uh, keep the chit chat to a minimum here because I have a lot to show you. Um, so many of you really enjoy kind of the clothing things that I showed you last time. I thought I would show you a few more this time and I have some jewelry and I have some makeup and I got a lot of stuff. So let's get started. First off, I purchased another order from the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale and it goes through today. Today is the last day of that, so just an FYI if you're wanting to look at anything. Um, they just have a really good, it's a really good sale. I try to check it out every year. Um, and it's what, what I like about it is that it's fall stuff that's on sale before fall even gets here. So anyway, um, the first thing that I want to show you is a plaid shirt. And I, you guys know I've said before, well, if you, if you are new, then you don't know, and welcome. And if you're not, I always say my favorite color is plaid. I, I just can't help it. So I picked up this shirt that looks really cute if with the sleeves down or with the sleeves all the way up. And it's by Foxcroft. It's a little wrinkle-free action. And it's just a really pretty black with some pink and um, white. Well, you can see. I'm not sure why I'm describing it. But try it on. Fits perfectly. I really like it. The, I always have an issue with buttons in the front here that... Um, well, sometimes, you know, the girls, what can I say? Um, but that, that one doesn't seem to have too much of an issue with that. So anyway, I really like that. And then I had, I looked, I had these in my cart or on the, you know, in the wish list portion of it or whatever for a really long time. And finally I was like, you know, what? I'm just going to get it. Last year I bought a duster length, um, sweater, a really thin one that I just fell in love with and with and really enjoyed. Um, I think I got it at Lane, but anyway, so I picked up two and I'm going to insert a picture after this in a second so you can see what it looks like on a person. If, if it goes well today at the end of this video, maybe you'll see a, f a shot of me wearing these, but I'm, I'm not sure how that's going to go. But anyway, so the first one that I got is in this kind of like a wine burgundy black sort of material. And then this is just this really pretty heather gray. So I'm not sure how to show you really aside from <laughs> that, but it's, these are going to be awesome. Partic it's going to be awesome in the fall. It's going to be awesome in the winter here in the land of ice and snow. And then again, this is the gray one. And these are by the brand Halogen. So really, really like those. I'm very pleased with those. And maybe you'll see a shot or something at the end of this. Who knows? Maybe I'll do another video on my vlog channel of me wearing stuff. I, I, I really don't know. Then for the first time ever, I, I purchased from ASOS. Um, I went on there looking for a kimono, which is this that I purchased. And you guys have seen me talk about this on my vlog channel. So I pushed back a little bit. By the way, this is new. <laughs> my Badger t-shirt. Who doesn't want a Badger t-shirt? Um, anyway, this is just a really pretty um, floral pattern. Got has some navy, royal blue, little little pink. I When I talked about it on my vlog channel, I said it was a little more 80s pink than I was hoping it would be. But it's still kind of fun. So I may be wearing that right now as we speak at the Sephora thing. I haven't decided yet what I'm wearing for that. And then the other thing I picked up is a chambray shirt. I have not had one of these in forever. So I just kind of wanted this to wear, like I would wear it open mostly, maybe with a black tank underneath it or something. I, I haven't quite decided, but I'm sure you will see it in a few or something or on my vlog channel in uh, an outfit of the day. And then the very last thing I want to show you is these shoes. I'm so in love with these shoes. Okay, so I've never had a pair of Tom's shoes and I've mentioned before that I don't necessarily appreciate when a label on anything, but you know, particularly on the Toms is like really prominent. So this I liked because the label is just barely there. It's kind of embossed. It's a nice wedge, beautiful taupe color. And I actually bought these at a boutique in Madison when I was down there for the farmer's market. But I think, um, I think I've seen these on Nordstrom. I'm almost positive. And they're so comfortable. I cannot wait for, I'm not rushing away summer for those of you that love it. I promise, but I can't wait to wear these. I, I'm just saying. I think we'll break things up here and now I'll do a little makeup, then I'll do a little jewelry, then I'll finish with a little makeup. So I placed an order with Sephora, um, <laughs> mostly because I was going to get a sample of this. So we'll start with that. The sample of the new Makeup Forever H Ultra HD it was this, the number 117, which I think is going to be a little bit dark, but maybe not. So we shall see about that. But the things that I had in my cart, kind of waiting for me to decide to place an order. Um, the first one is the Makeup Forever Palette 9 Artist Shadow. I'm not sure if it has any more of a name than that, quite frankly. Shadows 1. This is what I'm wearing on my eyes today for the most part. So these are really, really, really nice. I'll just kind of, I'm going to swatch a few of them for you here. So those are some of the shades. They all have numbers and not names. 
So we'll see. This is the first time I've worn it. I've seen it on a bunch of people. And like I said, it was kind of just in my wish list. So went ahead and grabbed that. And one of the things that I had in there just waiting because I need to repurchase it. I'm using like some deluxe sample sizes that I have right now is the Luxiton shower oil. This is what I use to shave my legs. I've mentioned that numerous times. And then I saw Crystal from Miss Crystal Makeup talking about this Becca powder. And this is the Perfect Skin Mineral Powder Foundation Nude. So um, comes in this cute little, sorry, I didn't even show you that, cute little zip-up package there. I feel like I'm talking a mile a minute today. Shall we just? And I did not have caffeine. It's Saturday morning currently. Anyway, so this is a powder foundation, and she was really, really enjoying it, and I'm a sucker for powder foundation. So I'm not sure. I feel like it's going to be a little bit, I'm going to swatch it heavy there so you guys can see. I feel like it might be a tad yellow, but when it's not so concentrated, I think it will be lovely. So I have not tried that. It's just been sitting here waiting for me to haul it. And let's see, I ordered another um, palette from Camp Cosmetics, ordered and paid for. This is the one in Beautiful Like Me, and I'll insert a picture with the swatches here. Just stunning, really, really, really pretty. I think probably of all the shades, these two shades are my favorites right here. Um, here, how about I, I know you saw the swatch picture, but let's, let's just, those two right there are just a pretty eye look in and of themselves. Look at that. And then I've been using this blue one here, wet as a liner, gorgeous. And then this is a replacement. I'm just about out of the, the their powder foundation. So this is the, I've, I have a couple of powder foundation sort of things in this, in this uh, haul. So that is the, it's the take two, my shade is an R1. It's right there again, not much that you can see, but this is my favorite go-to powder foundation when I don't have anything on my face and I just want really good coverage, but you know, quicker and just with a powder foundation, that is what I go to. And currently I will show you, this is what mine looks like. <laughs> so it was time to get a backup. And then I called my friend Seth, who works at Saks, because they had a new Arma that new Armani powder. This is the Luminous Silk Compact Dual Use Powder Compact. Yeah, I think that's everything. And I am in the shade 4.5. He was able to match me perfectly um, through my videos and pictures and stuff, so it looks like that. I know. That's three if you're counting powder foundations. This is a little bit different though. This I have been using so far and really liking how it looks. Um, more as, almost like yeah, I would use the ambient powders from, from Hourglass, just kind of all over. Or if something just needs just a little bit of coverage, but a little bit of extra coverage, not as much as I would use with the powder foundation. So I'm still playing with that. More, more on that, I am sure, but love that. I'll list Seth's information below for you. And I also called my friend David, um, who is my Estee Lauder dude and friend, and I have been trying samples of the Estee Lauder Perfectionist and really feel like I like it, liked it enough to purchase it. So I purchased it in 1N1, and one, um, which is a little bit light for me right now, but for the majority of the year, nine months out of the year, I think it'll be a good match. So I did get that. I really do like that. Um, and I will do, I have a couple of foundation reviews that I'm going to need to do. And as you can see so far, and we haven't even gotten the rest of it, palette, four looks, one palettes. The other thing I got is, um, Emily was talking about this so much that I decided I had to try it. This is the Double Wear Mineral Rich Loose Powder in Intensity 1.0. So again, I have not tried this yet, but I will. And I like the pressed um, powder of this, so I have a feeling I will like that as well. All right, let's talk a little jewelry, um, and then we'll finish up with makeup again. So I placed an order. This all started because I wanted one necklace, which is not the one that's in my hand, I'll show you in a minute, um, from Stella and Dot that I've seen a bunch of people wearing, and I just really, really liked it because I love navy blue. It's like my favorite color of life. So we'll get to that in a minute. But <laughs> So I went on Stella and Dot, and I ended up ordering a bunch of things that I wanted, and then I talked to Natalie, who is my Stella and Dot person, and um, I'm going to host a trunk show because I just think they have some really neat stuff out right now. So I'm going to show you what I got and, you know, I will list the trunk show below. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did last time I did a, tr did a trunk show. Well, I'm going to up it a little bit. So if you place an order through my trunk show, then your name will go in for a drawing. And um, 
of the credits that I get or whatever, I'll give you $150. Last time we did $100. This time I do, I'll do $150 um, of dollars towards what, $150 of credit towards whatever products you want. So you'll just tell me what you want. I'll order them in and ship them off to you. So at any rate, um, I just wanted to mention that below and all the links for that stuff will be below. I really have enjoyed the sell on that products that I've purchased. I'm not going to sell still on that because I just don't have the time to do it. But if I did, it was it's actually a company I would consider selling. Anyway, so this is the, let me just say, let me, let me get it right. The Devon, Devon, I'm not sure, D-E-V-O-N necklace. This is a really long necklace that you can just layer up white. Whenever I put white up here, it changes the coloring. I have this in gold and wore it, I've had it for a year and have worn it so many times. Um, and frequently I go to my little kind of, you know, area of long necklaces looking for something just plain and silver. And I really don't have anything, so I went ahead and got that. And this is the the uh, necklace set, I guess you would call it, that started it all. And I'm sure you've seen lots of people wearing these. This is called the Element Necklace. And I just, I love navy blue, and I love navy blue and gold together. And um, this is what they look like. So they hang to just about, oh, let's see if I can show you, just about um, here maybe-ish, something like that, <laughs> is where they hang. And just really and what's nice about it is that obviously you can wear just this one or you can wear just this one I, I just I really like that and I wore them to work the other day and got a ton of compliments on them so that was nice and then um I'm gonna save my favorite thing that I got to last this is the crescent necklace I believe it's called so this just kind of sits up pretty high here so it's a nice layering piece or you could do wear it just by itself and on one side you can see it has kind of crystally diamondy not really you know what I mean things and the other side is just plain so you can wear it two ways just like that or you can wear it like that I, I like to get those kind of pieces that I can do a lot of things with and then the other thing I got is the Tessa bracelet I love this this is it goes with a ton of things even though there's got navy blue in it and some gold but it's really nice for stacking or wearing just by itself I was wearing it in a video I think the other day if I remember correctly maybe the one that went up yesterday um but then the, the be all end all of this for me, and I'm absolutely going to buy these in silver now as well, is the Rebel Drop earrings. These have been around forever. I don't know how I miss them, but if you watch my vlog channel, you know that I've worn these probably every day, but maybe two or three since I've gotten them. I just think they're, they're perfect with my hair down and they're perfect with my hair up. They're like the right length and kind of width and just they, they work perfectly. So that's the style and dot stuff that I got. Again, if you um, want to place an order, great. If you don't, no big deal. I will list the uh, the trunk show. And like I said, anybody that places an order will get entered to win, and you can win $150 in free credit of stuff. So yay. So lastly, but certainly not least, I went to Ulta yesterday to use my 20% off um, coupon. I was thinking it went through Sunday, so I was going to do it when I was headed to Appleton on Sunday. But no, Saturday. So I ended up going last night, which was Friday night. So I will just show you a couple of things that I picked out. I have some hair things. So the first one, I actually went in for my Paul Mitchell Hot Off the Press, and they were completely sold out of it, and I am just about out. So it wasn't like I could just say, oh, I'll get it next time, because I don't live anywhere near a place where you can buy it. So I bought the Kenra Platinum Hot Spray. I've heard good things about this. I think Lisa from Lisa SEO 9 has, has told me about that one before. And then I picked this up. This is the Rusk Radical Cream. It's called Thickening and Texturizing Cream. Um, one of my subscribers, his name is Eric, suggested this. So I'm going to give it a shot. We will see. I, I forgot to smell it. It doesn't smell, you know, some of their uh, shampoos and or their uh, hairspray and dry shampoos I don't appreciate. But that doesn't seem to smell like that. So that's good. Um, another hair thing that I got. And I will talk more, more about this in my favorites. So I'm just going to show you that I got it. And um, there's going to be more discussion about this because this is good stuff. Living Proof Curl Defining Styling Cream. So I was glad I had 20% off of that. The one thing, oh, let me show you this one body thing. The, all this is the only place, Walmart doesn't seem to carry the, the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub in the original Shea. This is just um, mm, warm and tropical and delightful. I like this one and I like the tropical mango. I like to switch off between the two, but I, I can't, I don't always have access to that particular one. Okay, and the last three things, my friends, are palettes. I know. So that is four palettes. Nope, five. Five palettes that I got. 
So the first one is one that everybody has and I have had so many questions about whether I'm going to get this and if I'm going to do um, a Four Looks One palette with it. So it's the Urban Decay um, Na er Naked Smoky. I think I kept calling it the Smokes the other day, but so I will show you. You've seen this a bajillion times. Um, <laughs> I will do a Four Looks One palette on this one that didn't dies down. That's kind of how I am. That's what I did with my, you know, the, the Naked 3. I'll, let's just... Let's just wait, wait till the rest of the world isn't talking about it, and then I'll then I'll dig into it. You know, it just kind of get overloaded sometimes. And then um, let me just get this bag out of here because it's loud and obnoxious. So the other two things that I got were the two Lorac palettes, palettes. So the Lorac Pro Metal palette. I wanted to swatch these first before I bought them sight unseen, which is one of the reasons I wanted to go to Ulta versus ordering online. Um, yeah, these are these are nice. <laughs> so that is what the palette looks like. There's four metallic shades in here. So that's the top row. So that's quartz, rose gold, graphite, and onyx. That is one swipe on each finger and one swipe on my hand. I mean, are you kidding me? And then that's the bottom row. This is gilded, amber, clover, and cobalt. And I have to tell you guys, I I am way more excited about this than I am about that Urban Decay Smoky. I don't know why, but I am. So there you go. That is Gilded, Amber, Clover, and Cobalt. That Clover shade is really interesting to me. So yeah, I mean, I, <laughs> I went in and I was like, all right, I'm just going to swatch these and see what I think. And then I'll decide whether I'm going to get them or not. And yes. So what I think I'm going to do is, um, and I'll show you this other one here as well. If I do a, a Four Looks One palette, I think I would do Four Looks Two palettes. I think I could combine these two, and that might be an interesting an interesting video. So this other one is the Lorac Matte, and this burgundy shade is probably what drew me into it. The rest of the shades aren't super unique, but that shade, it's interesting because it looks a little more burgundy when you. It's just a really nice warm brown. But let's let's swatch fast, shall we? So bear, latte, corduroy, and chocolate. So bear, latte, corduroy, and chocolate. And then linen, pink mauve, burgundy, and jet black. So linen, pink mauve, burgundy, look at that shade, and jet black. So I, like I said, I really was impressed with how they swatched. Obviously I don't know how they apply on the eyes yet, but um, how they swatched, I was impressed enough to buy them both. So at 20% off, who could go wrong with that? And that, my friends, is everything. So, yeah, that was a little bit much, and I have no idea how long this is. I apologize if it is ridiculous and out of control. So on my face today, I have the um, Superstay Better Skin Foundation from Maybelline. Um, for blush, I have, and as I said, I have the Makeup Forever Artist Palette on my eyes. And for blush, I have the L'Oreal Blush in Baby Blossom which is delightful. I threw a little highlight on today. I pulled out my Guerlain Cruel Gardenia, which is the one that looks like a little flower. Sadly discontinued. Ooh, that could go on my list of products. I feel like a lot of you really seem to want to have a video on my list of sad discontinued products. And then on my lips today, I have the Chanel Lip Shine. Is this what it's called? No, Rouge Coco Shine in Boy. So that is everything. Don't forget to check out the Sell and Dot stuff and that the Nordstrom sale does end today. So if you're wanting to get any, any of those things, I think they'll still have them after the sale. It just won't be as cheap. So, all right. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.